We got to thicken our revenue stream. We got to thicken our fucking stream. We got to thicken the fuck out of that stream right now. Shit is serious out here. The music business is failing. The bubble done pop. Whose phone is that? It's my phone, man. That's your phone? It's mine, yeah. Answer it. Definitely. <clears throat> What's up, bro? Yeah, no, I, I can't talk right now. He forced me to answer in the middle of this meeting in order to humiliate me. Yeah, he's actually staring at me. He's really pissed right now. I swear to God, I'm not joking, man. Yeah, 6.30. I gotta go right now, though, boss. I apologize about that. Throw that phone out of my office. Please don't make me do that. Throw the phone out of my office. Throw that fucking phone out of my office. Right on. Oh, y'all think this meeting is for me? No, no, this meeting is not for me. It's for y'all. See, see, I'm going to be all right. I'm straight. I got villas in Brazil, Tahiti, East Hampton, West Hampton. Sergio going to be fine. Fuck a recession. I own 20 kookaroos. 21, sir. I own 21 kookaroos. Y'all don't own one kookaroo. Not one. Not one. Y'all are fucked. <laughs> You all are fucked. He's not wrong. Everyone loves chicken. I'm doing fine. Please, people, help me help you. Y'all need to come up with some brilliant ideas right now. Who's first? Me first, Sergio. There's this Taiwanese phone company, TEC. It's got great valuation. It's a steel, dude. We buy that shit. We're not just selling the ringtones. We're selling the fucking hardware, bitch. Does this look like a telephone company to you? We make records here. This is not single or wireless. Anybody here know anything about singleless, wireless, broadband, any of that fucking phone shit? No. Well, you know something you should. Don't be proud of your ignorance. Now tell me something good. I just discovered the next Alicia Keys. I swear to God above, I can vouch for her. The next Alicia Keys? Yep. What was your last discovery? Chocolate Dad. I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Chocolate Daddy? Yeah, Chocolate Motherfucking Daddy. He discovered Chocolate Daddy. How much did Chocolate Daddy sell? 15,000 units. 15,000 units. Proud of every unit. I'm proud of those units. I'm telling you, this Shut girl the fuck is. Up. This girl. Don't talk. She got a. I shut the fuck up. 15,000 units. You made me vouch for chocolate daddy, 15,000 units. I got six fucking kids. You know how much money that is to put them through school? You know how many Air Jordan six black kids wear? I'm sorry for my outburst. I'm having a panic attack right now. You. What you so quiet for? Just thinking. Good ideas. That's what we need. We need ideas. Share. Share with the group. Okay. Next month is uh, the 10-year anniversary of Aldous Snow Live at the Greek Theater, which is one of the highest-selling live albums of all time. And if we did some sort of anniversary concert, I did the figures, and it can generate millions of dollars in revenue. So you think one show is going to change our game? Well, we simulcast on HBO, Facebook. We charge him each a million bucks to co-sponsor the event. And that'll jumpstart sales of his back catalog, which we can re-release, remastered with additional tracks and a live DVD of the concert. Come on. We need a game changer. And Alda Snow is not it. Alda Snow is one of the last remaining rock stars. With all due respect, maybe a game changer is not what we need. He's a real musician, and we have a chance to make real music. And that's how we can succeed. And personally, I think it would kick ass to see him play live again. That's why we're all in this business, right? To, because we're fans. That's really nice. Now I need y'all to listen to something that's a game changer. Play that shit. Gonna fuck your shit. Gonna fuck your shit. Gonna fuck that's your game shit. Right here. Gonna knock your bitch. Gonna bang your bitch. Gonna knock your bitch up. Gonna flip that switch, gonna scratch that itch, gonna fuck your bitch.